Well, we are continuing to follow the tragic story out of Claremont County. Three young boys are dead after they were shot yesterday afternoon. Such a tragic story here yeah. because now their father, he's actually the one being charged in connection with those three young boys murder. Our Morgan Paris, she has been live all morning long in Claremont County. She has the very latest this morning on this developing story. Morgan, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, this is really heartbreaking, tragic, as you both mentioned. Um, we know that the whole community out here is really grieving. We're here in front of Monroe Elementary School because actually in just a couple hours, they're going to start offering grief counseling services for all who are affected. So those three boys that you mentioned, all very close in age, all brothers, three, four, and seven, year, seven years old, were found shot dead just before 4.15 in the afternoon yesterday. So let's take a look at the video. Right now, we know that 32-year-old Chad Dorman is charged with aggravated murder. He's being held without bond at the Claremont County Jail and will be arraigned in just a couple hours here in Claremont County at the Municipal Court. The Sheriff's Office says more charges could be added. Now, the boys uh, were found shot at a home near the corner of Laurel Lindale Road and Claremontville Laurel Road. We learned that an unknown woman called 911 screaming that her babies have been shot. And just three minutes later, a separate caller who had driven by called 911 and said that they had seen an underage girl running down the road saying, quote, her father was killing everyone. Now, when the sheriff's deputies came to the house, that's when they found Dorman sitting outside on a step. They also found the three boys unresponsive in the yard with gunshot wounds. Now, we know that they did try life-saving measures until Monroe Fire and EMS arrived, but the boys did die at the scene. Now, the boy's mother, a 34-year-old woman, was also outside of the home when officials arrived. Uh, we learned that she also had a gunshot wound to the hand and was transported to UC Medical Center. Now, you guys have been hearing from a neighbor neighbor who was home at the time of the incident and he spoke with us and he told us uh, really what type of person Chad Dorman is and what he heard and saw from the scene. I we heard gunshots and I didn't know what it was. So I went to the store and come back and I you know found out really what happened. And unfortunately I did see the kids laying in the yard. The guy was very unstable. Just uh, he was an unstable unstable person. He was just very Now, the new Richmond School District released a statement that reads in part, quote, Our hearts are once again broken as we yet again ask the community to lift up those affected by this horrific incident. Grief counselors will be available at Monroe Elementary beginning at 9 a.m. We will have no further comments. So again, like I said, Dorman uh, is scheduled to be arraigned this morning at the Claremont County Municipal Court, and we're still working on finding out some more details. But we did just speak with the sheriff uh, a few moments ago, and we asked them, you know, how these deputies are feeling if they're actually dealing with counseling services and the sheriff said I've talked with deputies that were involved most who are young parents themselves like everyone they are struggling to understand this and trying to make sense of how anyone could take the life of an innocent children the plain insert plain answer is that you just can't make sense of this. It's just pure evil. So again, uh, coming up in the next half hour, we'll have some more details. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. Just